What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp. Sparky. Back again like he never left. And today we're gonna to be doing our top five civilian AR-15s. Uh, we do this one about every single year. It used to be we did budget. These it's are- It's kind of gotten out of budget here. Well, so these are still recent. very much budget ish. ish guns. Let's dive right into talking about our top five rifles here. In no particular order. Except for they're probably gonna be biased because of Sparky. Um, Sparky, do you wanna pick the first one we talk about? I feel Vortex. <laughs> Before we do, we would like to talk about some big supporters of the channel. Basement Operator Company being the biggest, as that is us. You should go check us out at basementoperator.com. There you can find the builds to a lot of these firearms, as well as, you know, affiliate links. And then also merch, like this stuff right here. It makes you cool Wham, and bam. sexy at the range. Larper points go. Well, yeah, exactly. It makes you look good. All right, so next thing's next. Velocity Ammo, Velocity Ammo. Keeps the Freedom Seeds flowing here on the channel, so big shout out to them. We really appreciate it a lot. It really helps us uh, get reviews out and going. Hunter, what are you doing? Quit throwing stuff. Quit, yeah, quit, quit, you're distracting. Next thing's next, Core Essentials. Core is another big supporter of the channel. We love their belts, we use mm -hmm. them a lot. We've used them for years now. Mm -hmm. Another brand that we are really behind. We really want to share a thanks to them for supporting Thank the you channel. Thank you for your support. Exactly. These are the top five that we really like. None of these have been paid for to be in this video whatsoever. Mm -hmm. These are just guns we've accumulated and we really like a lot and we'd like to talk about them. They're, They're mainstays kind of, and go-tos. Yeah, mainstays and go-tos. Exactly. You're welcome. We'll, All start, right. we'll start with this one. We'll start with that one. So this is the PSA Sabre. This one is a 14.5 5.56 rifle. Comes in about $900 to $1,100, depending on the variant that you pick up. Like we had said, this is not necessarily budget, but a lot of times when you're shopping for AR-15s, that you know, $800 to $1,200 point is where most rifles are going to fall into. So this is the PSA Sabre. This one has a quick detach, uh, key mod muzzle brake with an HRT tactical flashlight, a Unity riser, and an EOTech. This rifle we did take to the night vision course. and Ran great. Yeah, ran great. It did awesome there. So we were a big fan of it and it has performed exactly how it's supposed to. We did have one small dilemma with the hyperfire trigger when we bought it. PSA got that squared away immediately and ever since then it it's ran exactly how it's supposed to. One thing I really like about it is this rail. The rail is a little bit thicker than most mm -hmm. M-block rails. So like run like on a barricade or something like that, you didn't have to worry about it. You could beat this thing up a little bit. Yeah. And it had QD points already on it, which is nice. Yeah. And one of the things I like is it does have M-lock all, all around. around. Yeah, you got uh, an angle. Yeah, right and here. as you can see, the HRT light there is mounted on one of the angled and it puts it perfectly with the barrel. So that's one of the things I really like about it. Um, another thing is it, it comes with radian furniture. Uh, it's nice. Well, got the selector. Selector and the charging handle, a Radian LT charging handle. <laughs> Branded. Watch, I almost got my finger. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch this guy. Yeah. It, it comes branded with the PSA uh, Radian LT charging handle, which is really nice. And it's just an overall staple in our arsenal. And we run it a lot, we use it a lot, and we've, we've just been a really big fan of it. Mm -hmm. Would you not agree, Sparky? Oh yeah, such a good one. Such a good one. Let's just work are the table this way since you decided to go. You don't wanna go the other way? No, we don't wanna go the other way. Uh, so grab the BCM next. One of the newer ones, I would yeah, say. Yeah, one of the newer ones, but we've been a real big fan of it. We've shot it a whole lot for it being a newer one, uh, just because we've been putting it through its paces and shooting it a doing lot. Doing a little testing. Yeah, doing a little testing for it. This one right here does have a dead air suppressor on it. Same mount as this one, if we pull this off. We actually put this on there ourselves. It did not come with that. It does have a Streamlight ProTac on it, a SOMO gear, which is still in testing, a BCM grip, and then an Aimpoint T2, Radian charging handle, and just a BCM lower. Essentially full BCM rifle, except for the Radian charging handle. It's a very good gun, very reliable firearm. Ran great suppressed. I would say it's the best one on the table for oh, yeah. suppressed. It's, it's been my favorite shooting. Because shooting that thing suppressed, there's a lot of blowback if you're shooting really quickly. Uh, this one, for some reason, I don't just, know why, just, just runs better. Just runs better suppressed. So we've we've been very pleased with it. It's been a very reliable gun. This is probably the most expensive one on the table. Um, anywhere between thirteen and fourteen hundred dollars, depending on what you put in it. A lot of BCM stuff comes as like a a build. You know, you can find full BCM rifles. They're just not as common yeah, as more buying often than uppers. Not, you're gonna find an upper, you're gonna find a BCM upper and find a BCM lower. Yeah. And I would say even to that extent, you find a, 
a BCM upper way more often than usually put it on like an arrow lower or something like yeah. that. And this like the Saber, the rail, the M-Lock rail is nice. It's just as thick as that one. And it's got the M-Lock for the most part all the way around. Yeah, and very nice feature to have. You know, but no QD points, a little disappointed. No a yeah. little disappointed that BCM didn't, they gave you one on the end plate back here, which is nice. If yeah. you want, if you want that option, you got it. But another and QD points up here would have been nice for the price point. It exactly. Didn't. And it doesn't have ambidextrous selector switch, which would have been nice for the price point. Just yeah. go ahead and have that. Yeah. But which, which the Saber does come with. Which, but this is a full 16 inch rifle. Like I said, this one was a 14.5 pin and weld. Uh, but they're very similar, I think, in build quality. Oh, yeah, very similar. Um, I'll say the BCM's probably a little bit higher quality. Yeah, yeah, but, definitely. But yes, they're comparable. Use case, yes. Yeah. Ready to move on to the next one, Old Sparkles? That's right, the, the favorite. Yeah, this one's, this one's definitely not biased whatsoever. Let's see how many Vortex plugs we can get in this one video. All right, Sparky, give us a go. So this is a Vortex DB15 <laughs> 556. You liked that, didn't you? I did. Yeah, I get it. It's a Diamondback DB15 556, standard 16-inch. Um, this one has been parted out and changed almost everything. Got Magpul furniture, Radiant furniture, radio charging handle. This one's everything. an old one. This one. This is this is this rifle is probably I've had this thing. God almighty, how long have I had this thing? It's been a long it's, time. It's the oldest this rifle probably, on the chain or on the table. This is probably seven eight years old. And it's been a good reliable it's, firearm. It's never not worked. This one was taken to the course as well. Mm -hmm. it, it? it shot good. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. Um, um, what we can say about Diamondback is we have used Diamondback for a long time. That was one of the first AR-15s that we reviewed on the channel. Um, and we have been super big fans of Diamondback through their DB-10s, their Black Gold series, mm -hmm. uh, even their DB-9s. Um, they make really, really high-quality firearms. For the money. For the money. Now, they do make more expensive when mm -hmm. you get into their Diamond series. They can run like $1,500. Uh, some of their models can run as low as like six, seven hundred dollars. Yeah, know? which would be this one. Yeah, this one's in that six hundred dollar price range stock. Like, so this one's probably I, I probably got over what twenty twenty two to twenty five hundred dollars in it. Yeah, I would say because I got a Larue tactical trigger, Streamlight, uh, like Strike the whole Industries, shebang. like everything's been changed. Um, it's just been I've but it's been a progressive it process. Yeah, like I didn't when I first bought it, it I had a Vortex Spark on it, of course and standard trigger and it just kind of progressed the, to this but the heart of the rifle hasn't changed the bolt the uh Everything, the bolt carrier group's the same the barrel the rail system all all remained the same exactly from diamondback correct, mm -hmm. correct. And, we, and we've done a lot with this rifle we've taken it uh recce shooting when mm -hmm. we did with that recce video uh we shot some good little to, distance yeah we've shot this up to 650. yeah it's a good little rifle it's it's the only thing you've asked it to do and for the money can't beat it no you cannot and it just shows what you can do with an AR platform. Yeah. You can buy a budget rifle. That, and that is stock, like good bolt, mm -hmm. good barrel, good rail system on it. And then and just tweak it to how you want, how you're going to run it and the parts you like. Yeah. It just shows what you can do with a budget AR. Exactly. Let's go on to the next one. So this one right here has been a channel staple for, for a long, long yeah. time. Uh, this is the old trusty stag. This thing has been through the ringer, probably been abused a little bit. And not cleaned. And not cleaned and, you know, been shot an absolute ton. Pretty much every optic we've had has been on this rifle. Um, it went head to head against the Diamondback it, a few it, times. Yeah. Uh, this has been just an absolute beast of an AR-15. This thing MSRPs for approximately, this one right here, this tactical, uh, MSRPs for about a thousand bucks. There's newer tacticals that come with a little bit more advanced features on them uh, that run up to like the fourteen, fifteen hundred dollar price point. But this one is right at a thousand. Sixteen inch barrel. We've recently swapped the muzzle brake to accept the dead air. Uh, a nice rail system on it. Stag makes really, really clean looking firearms. We've always been a fan of how the FDE looks and how well it is. Uh, we have actually used the crap out of this thing. It's got all sorts of scratches. It's all, got all sorts of scratches just from it being thrown in the truck, thrown in all kinds of crap. The situation. And it, and it has taken everything we've done, thrown at it. So we have been very, very pleased with the Stag. And it's you just know. got the basic furniture. Like yeah, it's, it's got just got- Basic charger handle, basic selector switch, basic We've never trigger. upgraded any of it. It's just been, this probably the, well, I guess most basic one you got out here as far oh, yeah. as like- Stuff on it. Yeah, it's just got your standard yep. controls and the thing, the thing works. The thing works very well. We can't praise it enough um, as it is one of the most used firearms yeah. on 
the Elliot Dope YouTube channel. Yeah, Cause like the rest of these have a little bit Gucci-er Yeah, and they've stuff been, on they've been sparsely used. They, they, they've all been used a lot, but like I would say the stag definitely is the staple. Yeah, that's the uh, standard everything else is held to. Yeah, in terms of what we do here on the channel. It's been a, been a good little rifle. We can't recommend it enough. You said a little over a gram. A little over a gram. Last but not least, one of the newer models, uh, AR-15s. And, you know, funny enough, I almost didn't put this one on the list because of how uh, these two are sister companies. But, you know, I figured every time we do a budget AR-15 video, this one You got to mention Arrow. Yeah, this one's always brought up in the comments like, what about the arrow? Where's the arrow precision at, Sparky? Mm -hmm. Well, today we have it. This is an arrow precision build we did. Um, this was the one we did with Optics Planet back a while back. Uh, this one has a... Code Delp saves you 7%. Yeah, Code Delp at Optics Planet saves you 7%. Go tell them uh, tell them we sent you, all right? We'd really appreciate it. But this is a complete arrow build that we got off of Optics Planet. Um, everything but the lower receiver. We have a 16-inch fluted Five, five, or this is actually a 223 wild yeah. um, barrel, and it did great. It groups really good. It's a very good shooter. We have an aero precision bolt carrier group in it, which is, you know, just a normal bolt carrier group. There's nothing special. The handguard's a really nice aero precision handguard. It's a little bit thinner than the rest. Yeah, a little bit thinner. It's very similar to the stag handguard um, in the way that it locks in, but the aero precision QDs. does have QD cuts in it. So that's really nice and one of the things we like a lot about it. This one actually has some modifications to the equipment on it. This has a B5, um, stock on it which i like a lot you know b5 systems has really nice furniture mm -hmm. uh they make really good stuff and then a reptilia grip courtesy attack pack yeah, thank you yeah uh, we appreciate it and it's you it's know pretty big like it feels good in the hand it, it's and a little it's bit more, steeper angle too. yeah a little bit more steeper angle uh, we did have a bcm end plate that we put on it for qd point yeah but arrow is really like a lot of people can consider it the standard for building but bu budget, budget building um, you know, a lot of people won't go lower than error, lower than error precision. Um, and it's understandable because Arrow makes a really, really quality product. Um, and this upper is like I mentioned Arrow, but it is the Optics Planet exclusive 223 Wild. So Arrow is another very good brand. Like I said, sister companies with Stag. So a lot of the same parts are from the same manufacturers, just rebranded. But nevertheless, they make very good products and definitely something you should consider and one of the companies we stand behind and like a lot. Sparky? So I got a question for you. Eh? There's one not here. Which but, one's not but, here? But what is your honorable mention and why did it not make the top five? What is an honorable mention? And why did it not make the top five? You mean the one in the truck? Yeah, why, yeah. Or, the, or it don't have to be that one. It can be any of them. Like, what was, what, what's number six? What's, what's, what's the sixth one? What, what's the one just out and why? So, I thought, and you know, coming into this, I almost put the one in the truck in it. Then I kind of backed away from it. Uh, was a Daniels Defense AR-15, and I thought it was just a little too pricey. Yeah. I, I thought like all of these run about the same and hold a lot of the same value. I just think with you when you're buying Daniel's Defense, you almost pay like you're, you're just getting a different. You're just up. You're yeah, different. you're you're getting a fantastic rifle, and we're not disputing that whatsoever. But you're paying a little bit for the name, and you know if I was to recommend somebody just like a normal person that just wants a nice rifle, I don't think I would recommend somebody a Daniel's Defense unless you just have the money to throw at it. True. That's one of them that didn't make the list, and that's why. Another one that didn't make the list and that would be more comparable to these and has shown up in other videos is a Radical. Mm -hmm, we, yeah. we typically have a lot of Radicals and we've shot a lot of them. I've had several of them. They're, they're good rifles. I just, I just think these stand a little bit mm -hmm. you know, more, in my opinion. It's just nothing against Radical Firearms. They make a really good gun. I've had several of them and they've done really well. I just. I just like these a little bit better. What about you? Do you have any? Uh, one I don't personally have, but have experience with, be a SIG M400. I feel yeah. like I feel like that one is hard to beat for the money. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in the eight hundred, seven eight hundred dollar ish range for just a rifle. Comes with you know has a real nice hand handrail on it, stainless steel barrel, and it comes with the uh, the well muzzle device that accepts a SIG suppressor. And I think for the price range, that's a, that one's hard to beat. And you know one that. I don't have any experience with people comment a lot 
um, the IWI. Yeah, okay, yeah, I do like theirs. I don't have any, like... I've never shot one. Never shot one, but they, they look good. They and look everybody good. everybody seems to like them. Yeah, and that's just that's just one, and it, it was probably going to get comment on why, why where's the IWI. Send lot, us one. We yeah, one. send us one. We'll do a video on it. That's another one that's brought up a lot in conversation that, you know, probably should be on the list or, you know, would be a contender. We just don't have any experience with it. And we don't want to recommend you guys something. That we don't have any experience with. Exactly. That we don't have any experience with that we've never shot. We like to give you guys a very honest opinion on this stuff uh, because, you know, we, we we're in your shoes. Like we, we're just two dudes in Southwest Virginia, you know? That like to shoot. That like don't to like shoot. to waste money on poor products. Exactly. Uh, so we, we try to give you guys a very honest opinion on, on this stuff. Cause we, we are very much a, uh, you know, wallet friendly environment. Exactly. We don't, we don't want you guys to waste your money. Cause I would say the majority of your gun guys are going to have you know, they're not buying multiple ARs a year. I would say mm -hmm. majority of people are buying one and that might be the only one they ever buy. So because that might be the only one they ever need. Exactly. And so it's like, okay, well, if you're gonna spend $800, wait a few, wait a few more months or a year, save up to a thousand and get this one for this reason. Yeah. Like, so that's kind of where we're coming from. We're just gonna wreck it. These are just five go-tos and mainstays that we have experience with and like. Exactly. So I think that's really going to wrap the video there. We appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Go comment down below what you think should be on this list. Because, you know, we'd like to hear from you guys what you guys feel is, you know, your favorite AR-15 and why you feel that it is your favorite AR-15. We'd love to hear from you guys. Big thank you to the supporters of the channel. Thank you. Exactly. Big thank you guys to the supporters. And we will see you guys on the next one. As always, take some outdoors. Peace. Hold me. God bless, it's cold as a mother.